Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the Open Beta 2 of Android Pie on our OnePlus 6. This is definitely a very quick update from what we had from the original one. This is actually an incremental update. But now that we're in the beta program, updating from one build to the other is a little different than when we were in the developer preview. This is TK, let's check out the Open Beta 2. In last week's video, I walked you through the process on how to update into the beta 1 from either Oxygen OS Stable or even the Developer Preview 3 for Android Pie. Now that we're in the beta program, updating is a little bit different as we can actually receive OTAs. So going into the Settings tab, going under System, you're pretty much going to be greeted with a new option saying Update is available. Now, keep in mind there's two versions of this update. The reason I mentioned this is if you haven't unlocked Bootloader the way I have it on my device, it's going to download the entire OTA, meaning it's going to be like a 1.4 gigabyte file as opposed to just the incremental update which most of us would receive if we had a locked bootloader. So for that process, I already did that and I downloaded it. And because we have an A and B partition here installed on our OnePlus 6, similar to the Pixel devices, the installation is actually already done. All I have to do is reboot the device and then my device will boot up into the new update. Uh, but I wanted to walk you through real quick some of the changes that they've actually informed us here. Optimizations for Wi-Fi stability, so we have better Wi-Fi connectivity. Uh, we have optimization for background power consumption control as well as pocket mode. Uh, the launcher app, uh, UI, the multitasking UI has been updated as well. That's the little option that we have here. We do have uh, better optimizations for the front facing camera, so better image quality. And of course, messages uh, up to updating for verification codes for the OTP, as well as known issues, of course, we're still having some applications crashing, but most and uh, foremost is safety net will not pass as well as some Google Play services will not work. Although the Play Store and downloading and installing applications is not affected, this is something that you want to be aware of as this is still a beta. Uh, so let's go ahead and just reboot. And because of the AMB partition, uh, our system update was actually pretty quick. It installs it on the secondary partition and all you need to do is reboot the device. Uh, you'll notice where their system has been updated. I'll go ahead and swipe that away. Security patch is still September 5th. We didn't really change much, but we did move over to uh, the latest build. So this is gonna be running on it. And if you go into the settings tab under the system update and then go check for updates, there's no more updates. Uh, keep in mind, this will unroot your device if you are rooted. This will also, uh, because of the fact that it recognizes that I'm running a stock, an unlocked bootloader, it does reset the uh, stock recovery. So everything in here for the most part, other than the fact that it's an unlocked bootloader, is pretty much just stock installation of the OnePlus 6. Now, as far as the UI, not much has changed overall. If you have under the navigation gestures, here we go. So we still have navigation and gestures, we still have the three options, uh, the button home back recent, uh, back and home button, which is what we have now is the pill format, of course, standard OnePlus gestures. Uh, no real big changes here. We do have a big, uh, slightly updated here option to be able to go into the settings tab to change the volume option on the ringtone media as well as alarm. Um, as by default, we normally only have the option of going into whatever's playing, which essentially is media. And now we see as well uh, that the actually casting information is directed to the speaker. And if I have a headphone or a Bluetooth headset, I can switch between the three here. In the beta one, we didn't have any information. The box was empty. Although color scheme is still not permeating all the way down to the power button, we still have white power button with uh, color, basically the dark theme that I have applied directly on my system applied to the volume rocker. Uh, the optimization as well was pretty much done to the, re uh, to the multitasking functionality. So swiping up, you notice it's very smooth. Uh, I can actually just basically start scrolling between. And of course the vibration motor just goes crazy on this one. Uh, but essentially just really good, very fast, very smooth. Uh, process. Still don't have the ability of basically swiping up and going into the app drawer, but again, a slight swipe above the uh, pill takes you into the app drawer. All the way from the bottom takes you directly into recents. And of course, you can still task it, go split screen, app information, lock it as far as if you want to lock it in the memory, and of course, just run everything normally. Here we go, full screen. Here we still have that little groove that gets us into the actual sensor, and of course, uh, access to it. There is a very, very minimal raise at the top here, where the raising here, the lift on the top here is much more pronounced. So that was one of my other videos that I did for you guys. And as far as the front facing camera improvements, uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I took a couple of pictures with it. Uh, this, is one, this one was after the update and this one was done before. Uh, overall, they pretty much look the same. I don't really see much other than a little bit of a temperature change between a cooler to a warmer temperature. Um, hopefully you guys can tell me in the comments below what do you guys think. Again, this is the one after, this is the one before. 
Um, again, supposed to have better optimizations uh, as far as the front-facing camera. Uh, audio playback works fine. Uh, overall, no issues with the applications here. Again, I can check for updates and I can go ahead and apply these updates directly. So OnePlus, as usual, has been knocking it out of the park. Again, a little over a week since we've received beta one, we were down to beta two. The update process is more streamlined. We're getting them via OTAs. Again, depending if you are locked or an unlocked bootloader device uh, owner, uh, you may get a, basically a full version of the OTA or an incremental. For me, it was a full version, not an issue. If you are rooted, you will need to reroot your device once you accept this. Uh, and if you are not rooted, don't worry about it. I think everything will be fine. Um, overall, I think I'm really, really happy. And if you find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share it with your friends that have OnePlus 6 devices so that they know that the you know beta 2 is available and they can download it and look forward to basically enjoying the same thing that you guys are. Other than that, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.